For this study, we're looking at wigwam. Do you want to taste it? Now, I'm hoping you might recognize it from the series Peacemaker with John Cena. It's the intro tune, the intro theme. It's a really cool riff. And uh, let's focus on what we need to learn, starting with the tabs. I'm assuming you do have a copy of the tab in front of you. If you need a copy of the PDF of the tab and everything, just drop me a WhatsApp. I'll be happy to send it to you. And we're starting off in little groups. So our first group of seven notes should sound like this. Okay, slow motion. Let's break it down. I'm using largely my first finger for the threes and my ring finger and my third finger for the fives. So slow motion, we're going to start with a pick and a hammer run. And you can see I pick the three and I hammer on with the ring finger so you don't pick that five then there's a very small movement with the first finger down to the three on the fourth string crosses back to the five on the fifth string and then the ring finger jumps down very quickly small movement down to the fourth string so slow-mo then maybe a pull off from that five and you can see pulls off and back to the five there so the whole group of seven notes slow mo should sound like this two three four and now you can hear there's a little bit of a pinched harmonic as well so i'm going to quickly focus onto my picking out to show you the techniques we can use for that first of all on the pick i want very little of the tip sticking out so this will be very very bad it's going to hook the string so you're looking at about say two to three millimeters sticking out which forces your thumb to get really close to the strings. You can see my thumb is actually resting on the strings. What I also want us to notice is small hand movements. I'm going to play through the riff and just watch how small the movement is over here. And then for the pinched harmonic, you can get different levels and different pitches from the pinched harmonic depending where you play. And the trick for the pinched harmonic is, first of all, you're picking really hard. So I'm very aggressive with my attack on the string. And as the pick leaves the string, the string hits the side of the thumb. And that creates that high pitch. But to let that high pitch work, I must take my hand off. So it's a very close, and you can actually see the thumb still resting on the string above to keep it quiet. So it's a very, very small movement. Okay, well that's enough on the pinched harmonics. We're going to go back to the next phrase. And the next phrase, just three notes going three, four, five, which is called chromatic. Chromatic is when you run from one fret to the immediately next fret and next fret. So this is chromatic. And it goes three, four, five using fingers one, two, and three. So if I attach this three, four, five to the first riff, it sounds like that. What I want us to keep in mind as well is very little hand movement. So we don't want the hand to go away. That would be very, very bad. So you don't want this. That's a lot of movement. You can see it's very, very small movements. Like that. And then the last two notes of the bar is simply the three. Which a pinched harmonic really sounds pretty sweet on the last three as well. So the three is on the fourth string. And if you listen to the original bar, we can actually hear the guitarist pinch the harmonic at quite a bit over there. <laughs> okay. And the entire first bar should sound something like this. One, two, three, four. And so it's a nice combination of palm damping, pinch harmonics, etc, etc. Now onto the next bar, the first seven notes, exactly the same. But the next group of seven notes is going to sound like this. It has slides, and then it puts the first finger there, slides back, and then jumps to fret number five, pulls off, and ends on on the three. So let's take it again one more time with a bit more sort of thorough breakdown. You're starting with your ring finger, finger number three, on the fourth string. You're sliding up to fret seven on the same. And you'll notice that when I do the slide, I, I don't pick the slide creates the, the sound. And then one of, once I've done the slide, my first finger, finger one, is in place for the five on the third string. And that note slides all the way down to fret two. Then there's a little bit of a jump to fret number five on the fourth string, pull off to the third fret and 
pinch the harmonic that last note as well. Always sounds cool. Okay, so your second bar should sound like this. One, two, three, four, and... And you got it. Now, if we join both bars together, I'm going to just change the angle a little bit there. You should have something like this. One, two, three, four, and... And there's your first top line, first and second bars. The third bar on the next line is exactly the same, so you do this all over again. Pay attention for those palm dampings. And then the very last bar, bar number four, starts the same. And just plays the three and four by itself. So let's take it the whole way through together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. And and there you have the introduction for this really cool riff now next up we're going to look at the power chords on the pdf at the bottom you'll see i've included um, a guitar neck it shows the d's over here for example fret five it shows b flats over here fret one it shows the f above on the sixth string fret one it shows your c's over here and then interestingly enough the b flat can be there or it can be there and the a can be here or it can be open so those notes are illustrated in the diagram okay so please make sure you've got the pdf otherwise everything i'm relating to could be a bit lost and if you need it just whatsapp me or inbox me i'll be happy to send it through to you okay it's going to go from the d it says d minor because if you're playing acoustic it'll be a d minor chord but on the original this is not acoustic it's definitely power chords so d minor treat it as a d power chord or d5 it's going to look like this it should sound like this too now there's several ways to play the power chord you can use fingers one and pinky like i am you can use fingers one and three like that that's acceptable or you can use one three and four but not the middle finger sorry don't take that personally okay so middle finger out the way this is my preference lots of guitarists like that and some guitarists also like this so three ways to play the power chord chair that's gonna go and it's gonna go from the d which is fret five down to the b flat but if you listen carefully, you can hear he sort of passes on that note there, it says. It's got a little bit of a bouncy feel to it. It sounds almost like the band Poison when they do that song on Skinny Bop. It's got a very similar vibe to that. Um, so one more time with me. One, two, three, four. And it simply repeats it through three times. So... He's got an F5 which is over here and a C5 which is over there. Now I don't want to get too much into the power chord section of this because the power chords really are the easy part. The fun part is the that's the part I love the most. Okay, but the rest of the song really kicks ass as well. It's a very, very sweet song. So see how you go with the power chords. The diagrams are there. I've given you enough sort of hints on that. On this strumming quickly for the power chords, I just like to re-emphasize the palm damping as in a post it that's no palm damping that's the right palm damping too much palm damping so it's all about not the pressure but where I'm putting my hands so if it's too far back no damping slightly on you can hear the pitches coming through and that's what I want and if I go too far forward dead <laughs> okay also what's the movement of the pick as well it's a very very small movement in fact I'm going to stop to a easier to see pick <laughs> okay just so you can see the movement that's gonna go so when i want to get that accent the louder part all i'm doing is i'm lifting that palm can you see my hand sort of twitching at the back there so it's when i want the chord to ring i just lift up the palm very small movement and when i go to the f obviously it goes up a string and I'm not playing more than three strings for when I want the accented chords to you. So that's it. It's a super easy song. I hope you enjoyed it. The riff is really, really cool. Any questions, drop me a WhatsApp. Happy to help. Otherwise, have an awesome, fantastic day. Take care.